Hello, I'm Veronica Ballon. Hello, I'm Peter. We decided we needed to move into Annick and we wanted to find a place that was big enough for the daughters and for, that had a workshop. And we saw an advert for this house and all we saw was a, a picture of a beautiful ceiling and the words that said, large house with workshop. Peter schooled me on how to behave when we viewed the house saying that he, he knew about doing up properties, he knew how long it would take, but he also knew that if you showed that you were enthusiastic and wanted this particular place, the price could go up. As we walked up the steps, Peter said, now remember, keep your face straight. Do not show any reaction. Betray no emotion. Betray no emotion. I think it was at this moment that I must have lost my presence of mind. I looked up at the ceiling and I was just blown away by the mouldings up there. I thought, this is beautiful. We think that the first person to have this house was one of the artisans that was involved in doing the plastering. But because this was his house, he did a show-off feature of the plaster work. One of the daughters found that she loved the fact that this house has a, a back staircase. This is it. This is the servant staircase. So I'll take you up. If you go out at night in Annick, you can come creeping up the back alley and sneak in the back door and up the back staircase without the parents knowing because they're asleep in the front of the house. I needed space for a, a workshop, which there is at the back of this house, uh, as I work with ceramics and I make uh, ceramic figures and animals. And it was ideal for that. And so it had this multi-purpose function. It was built... 1836. At 1836. Yeah. So it's just on the cusp of Georgian, Georgian Victorian. So it has elements of both. Upstairs windows were the small paned original uh, Georgian stroke Victorian windows. Downstairs in the uh, two main reception rooms at the front of the house, the small paned windows have been replaced with very large panes. This showed the development and history of the house because prior to that, there wasn't the mass production of big panes of glass. It was very, very expensive and not readily available. So when the people who then lived in the house could afford it and were wanting to show that they could afford to have the bigger panes of glass, they had them replaced in the lower floors of this house. The banister rail that goes up on our main staircase is also Georgian because it has small square profile spindles, whereas Victorians were more elaborate and usually turned spindles. About the 1920s, there was an extension put onto the back of the house, a single story, and then another story was built on top of that, which became accommodation for... Um, a servant. Or servants, we're not or sure. Servant. There was a doorway here and a small, um, just a, a small space for somebody to have their clothes and further back into the office there was enough room for a small truckle bed or something like that. Just behind here there's still just the stains on the wall from the days when the fireplace was used. This was boxed in and at the top there was uh, a hole in the wall where you could see daylight and over about 40 or 50 years some jackdaws had been coming in there and nesting and when we were clearing out this space here we cleared out 14 and a half rubbish bags of twigs guano, old plaster, skeletons, <laughs> and it was just an absolute nightmare. But uh, we've opened up the, the area quite well, I think, and it's been uh, a godsend as far as our living here is concerned. We thought it deserved to be turned back into a beautiful family home because it's a lovely house, and apparently our bid was accepted because of what we'd said about wanting to turn it back into a beautiful, family happy, happy family home with lots of laughter.